getting those in from KPLR 11.2. Let's talk a little um, Missouri football for just a second. Because if you remember back earlier in the year, remember the whole thing with the football players uh, boycotted and said if uh, this president doesn't resign, uh, we're not going to play football. And I, I mean, I, the overwhelming majority of people were like, hey, wait a minute. what, what are you, we, we disagreed, many of us, including me, disagreed with the actual um, substance of the protest. We didn't agree with the protest. We thought it was a stupid protest. We didn't, we, we didn't understand it. It was ridiculous, whatever. But I will defend that player's right to protest. And so now two state legislators who, um, by the way, we pay for their lunch every day and then lobbyists then come along and buy them lunch every day. They're so concerned about every single dollar taxpayers spend and taxpayer funded dollars. These people get their own lunches paid for turned around and then have uh, lobbyists then buy them lunch, so they're double-dipping, so to speak. They want to pass a law. Two people have introduced a law. Rick uh, Breton of Harrisonville, and then co-sponsored by Kurt Barr in uh, O'Fallon, um, wants to pass a law that would require the university to level a fine against any member of a coaching staff who encourages an athlete to participate in a strike. What? So any, anyone who any, – t- talk about trampling on somebody's freedom of speech. Aren't these all constitutionalists, right? So coaching staff, if you counsel someone to go on strike, you will be fined. And then, of course – they, a scholarship would be revoked for any college athlete who refused to play for any reason unrelated to health. So, in other words, if your mother dies and the game is on the day of the funeral, you must play the game or they can revoke your scholarship from you. Uh, in the lesser sports, say baseball and softball and some of the other sports where they're playing during the week, and I have an exam on a Wednesday during a game, Coach, and I'm not pitching, can I go take the exam? Or do I have to go to the game? If I take the exam... I could lose my scholarship. These are the same people who believe in local control and government getting off my back and we've got to watch taxpayer dollars. This is the these these people should be ashamed of themselves. I mean <laughs> this is so embarrassing. Our legislature should hang their head in shame. These are the same people who can't keep a Speaker of the House. The, the, the list of Speakers of the House is a, I mean, it is a who's who of embarrassment. It is like, if they're better than the Kardashians in terms of the trash that has come out for Speaker of the House, whether it's Speaker of the House, whether it's the way they the 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 way they 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 drink and stay up all night and corral it is a cesspool down there and they're worried about a college student who takes a stand on an issue that is important to them and it's so important that any coach that counsels a player to strike for any reason let's say let's say a player let's say a player says uh, i'm against uh, abortion and 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 I want to protest and I want to stand up and I'm not going to play until this is fifth. all of a sudden what that person's going to be suspended let's say somebody wants to protest or go on strike because their their gun rights were violated you're somehow going to infringe on their constitutional right to to protest this is this is an embarrassment and Rick Britton of Harrisonville and Kurt Bear now look the the truth of the matter is, 
is that these people are are clearly safe in their districts because we don't really have elections anymore in this state um, because the way they draw up the districts, they they play to the fringe. People don't vote. People who complain. I want all of those protesters down in uh, – Columbia, how many of those actually voted? I'd love to know how many Missouri football players actually voted in the last election. Um, People don't vote. So these people go and do anything they want. So they're playing to the small-minded Missourians who go and vote. It's the same thing you're seeing with the Donald Trumps of the world, right? Politicians pander to the people who vote. So... That's why you get people who that's why you get bills like this, because they're pandering to the people who vote. And so it's it's kind of not our fault, but it is kind of our fault because this is this is the world we choose to live in. These are the people who vote and we we allow them to create these districts where uh, these people survive and thrive. Look, you put two people in a room. You put two Tea Party people in a room, one of them is going to claim the other one's a liberal. Which is why now you have Donald Trump saying we need to ban all Muslims and he's being cheered. Because that's what you get. It's it's like the it's like reverse survivor. It's who can who can say the most ridiculous thing to the right, which is why you have now people parroting Adolf Hitler because you can't be left of the other guy. So you put two people in a room Somebody's got to be the uh, the liberal. No matter if you put Trump and Cruz in a room, one of them has to be the liberal. So that's what they do. So now you come to the now you come to the place where you've got two lawmakers who want to take away the coach's right to free speech and the player's right to peacefully protest and or assemble. All while they're defending your Second Amendment rights, they're trampling on all your other rights. 314-969-KTRS, 1-888-550-KTRS, or star KTRS. Those are the phone numbers. We'll take a couple phone calls. Uh, Don't forget, you can follow us on Facebook, yell at us on Twitter, and um, you can uh, also uh, watch us at stltoday.com. You can watch us at ktrs.com. And, of course, in the 9 o'clock hour, we're on 11.2. 314-969-KTRS, 1-888-550-KTRS, or star KTRS. Chris. You're first up. Welcome to Big 550 KTRS. How you doing? I just have uh, one comment in regards to these student-athletes protesting. I believe that everybody has the right to protest. That's your freedom of speech. But, however, these universities are giving them scholarships. In essence, they're paying for their education to participate in athletic events that, that, these, are, that these kids are required to play in or and I believe that, it, you know, if it's not excused by the team, um, then I think that they should be forced to play. Otherwise, lose scholarship funding. Um, that's my comment, and I'll listen to your... Yeah, you know what, Chris? Your, Chris, Chris, you know what? I, mm-hmm. I'll go for that the minute state legislators pay for their own lunch. Why am I paying for their lunch? They pocket the money and then have some lobbyist buy them lunch. And I, and I agree with that well, okay. 100% as well. Right. So, so what's good for the goose is good for the gander. So when they give up their, their country club lifestyle down in Jefferson City, right, when we can find a Speaker of the House that actually completes their term as Speaker of the House without resigning in disgrace or to become a lobbyist, then maybe let's talk about some morals and some ethics with other people. But until well, then, clean up your own you house. Know, you know what? Let's take that one step further. If you and I don't show up for work because we're out protesting, is our employer going to pay us? No, they're not. And that is the same thing with uh, uh, college athletes. Thank you for the phone call, Chris. Dan and Thanks. Steve, hold on. We'll get your thoughts in just a second. 919, Big 550, 